This example asks us to calculate, to the appropriate number of significant digits, the radius in centimeters of a sphere of plutonium of given mass. This problem actually has a subtext. Plutonium is a fissile element, that is to say, one of the elements that can be created into a nuclear weapon, an atomic bomb as it used to be called. And it turns out that the mass of plutonium you need to make a small nuclear weapon is not very large. Not much larger than this four kilograms that is suggested in the problem. So this will give you an idea of the actual physical dimensions of the core of a nuclear weapon, and you may be surprised. Now we have the mass, and we have the density of plutonium. And that means we can calculate the volume of that sphere. Remember, density equals mass over volume, or volume equals mass divided by density. So the volume of this sphere of plutonium equals 4.05 kilograms times 10 cubed grams per kilogram divided by 19.8 grams per cubic centimeter. And that comes out to be roughly 227 cubic centimeters. Well, let's think about that in terms of a sphere. If we have a sphere of radius r, its volume equals 4 over 3 times pi r cubed. Therefore, r is the cube root of 3 times the volume divided by 4 times pi. And if we put the numbers we have into that equation, the radius of that sphere is the cube root of 3 times 227 centimeters cubed divided by 4 pi. If you're fortunate to have a cube root key on your calculator, it will be very easy to extract this cube root. If not, and if you're using a scientific calculator, which I strongly recommend to you, then if it doesn't have a cube root key, it's very likely to have a key that shows you the result of raising a number x to the power y. And if you put in the number that you get from the interior of this cube root and raise it to the power 0 0.3333, that will give you the cube root. Extracting the cube root is the same as raising a number to the power one-third or 0.3333. And the number that you get out of this is 3 point seven nine cubic centimeters. Now, again, let's just return to the comment I made at the beginning. Consider the size of this sphere of plutonium, which is large enough to provide a modest-sized nuclear weapon, perhaps of the power of 10 thousand tons of trinitrotoluene, a conventional explosive. It's only about seven centimeters across, a little over seven centimeters. That is a little over three inches in diameter, smaller than a tennis ball. You don't need much plutonium to make a nuclear weapon, and that is why there is so much international concern about the trade in plutonium and the capacity of countries to make plutonium in nuclear reactors.